First get your edit done. Then export with the highest quality possible. Now enter the app called the Light Motion. You can get it on Play Store or App Store, and the link is in the description too. Hit the plus. Now copy these settings, format, whatever your edit format is. Background, transparent, frame rate, 60 FPS resolution, depends on your device. If your device supports a resolution only up to 1 for 4 OP, you won't be able to put 60 FPS with it, so I advise you to put it at 1080p and 60 FPS. And if your device supports a resolution up to 2 to 1 6 OP, it's better to put it at 2 to 1 6 OP and 60 FPS. In this video I am using 1080p and 60 FPS. Now hit the plus. Then hit Media and select your edit. Now click at the Edit layer. And drag the image so it's not covered by the watermark. Now click at the Edit layer again. And hit this plus icon then hit Duplicate layer. Now click at the Edit layer copy. Then hit Effects. Hit Add Effect. Now search Gaussian Blur and click on it. Make the strength around 0.2 to 5. Then hit the small arrow. And hit Add Effect again. This time search for Exposure Gamma and click on it. Hit the small arrow. Now copy these adjustments, Exposure, minus 0.65. Gamma, 1.000. Offset, 0.00. Now hit the small arrow, then hit this arrow. Click on Blending and Opacity. Scroll all the way down to Difference. Then hit Subtract. And put this setting to 100%. Now go back and hit the plus again. Hit the square icon. Now go to Color and Fill. Select the white color. Then hit this arrow to go back. Now drag the white square so it covers the whole screen. Then drag the white square layer so it covers the whole video. Now click at the white square layer again. Hit Blending and Opacity. Scroll all the way down to Contrast and click on it. Hit Overlay. And put this setting to 100%. Then hit this arrow to go back. And hit Export. Now select Video and hit the small arrow on the right. Here you can change additional quality settings. And as I said before I am using 1080p and 60fps. But here you can change other things. For example it's better to put the codec to H.264 slash AVC. And also put the frame rate to full. And finally drag the quality to the maximum high. Now hit export. Now hit save. Now enter your editing app again. Here I am using CapCut. Create a new project. And select the video you just exported. Then hit add. Now click at the edit layer. And select edit. Now select crop. Now crop the video so you remove the watermark and the black borders on the sides. Then hit the check mark. Now drag the video so it covers the whole screen. OK, so now I am going to show you some additional steps to make the quality even better. You don't have to do them if you don't want to. Click at the edit layer. Then go to adjust. Now hit Sharpen, and put it to 100. Now go all the way back and hit Effects. Hit Video Effects. Now go to Retro. Now go all the way down, 
and select Sharpen. Hit the check mark. Now hit Adjust. And copy these adjustments, Intensity, 20, Lateral Chromatic Aberration, 50, Longitudinal Chromatic Aberration, 50. Now hit the check mark. Then drag the effect layer so it covers the whole video. Now hit the quality icon and put the resolution and the frame rate to the maximum. Then hit export. And we're done. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching.